Hey guys, this is Crypto Marie, she does it all. I'm here to give you some information about the wealth gap in America between a white family and a black family. Like I said, Crypto Marie, she does it all. I will bring any information I find important, whether it's to me, to you. Knowledge is power. We need to inform ourselves, we need to educate ourselves and inform our children to let them know how can we change that, you know? Why is it going on for so long, you know? I'm gonna give I'm gonna read a few paragraphs for you and then I'm gonna explain more or less maybe it's our it's our fault that we don't build wealth also right we cannot only blame it on those people of course some of them had a silver spoon but those are certain things that we do we create our own misery when it comes to creating wealth so let me read this title here and this was that's from Brookings this study was taking place in 2016. So maybe there was an update, I'm not sure. But again, I wanna say thank you to YouTube for giving me this platform to express myself, whether it's a stock market or something important going on in the environment, a Haitian crisis, um, exercising, cooking, doing my son hair, uh, you know, it doesn't matter celebrating happy birthday with my daughter and I. This is a family channel and whatever that will bring a smile to your face, trust me, I will have it on video because we need to share what's going on in this channel with our friends, our family, because life is great. You know, it's a lot going on out there. You don't have to have millions to be happy. You don't have to have thousands to be happy. Just, just be happy just with what you have. You have your kids, they're healthy, you're healthy, you have a job, God bless you. Just be happy, okay? So let me read exactly more or less what is the difference between black family and white family wealth gap in America. It says, examining the black white wealth gap. Clubs Close examination of wealth in the U.S. find evidence of staggering racial disparities at $171,000. The net worth of a typical white family is nearly 10 times greater than that of a black family. Now listen to this carefully. The white family has $171,000 net worth. Doesn't matter how how poor they are, that's, that's what it is. It's a study that was done. And the black family has $17,000 and 150. Now remember what I said, that was, the study was done in 2016. So gaps in wealth between black and white household reveal that, reveal the effects of accumulated inequality and discrimination as well as differences in power an opportunity that can be traced back to this nation's inception. The black-white wealth gap reflects a society that has not and does not afford equality of opportunity to all its citizens. Hello, I'm not surprised. I am not surprised at all. So uh, efforts by black Americans to build wealth can be traced back throughout American history, but these efforts have been embedded in a host of ways, beginning with 246 years ago of char charter slavery and followed by congressional mismanagement of the Freedmen's Saving Bank, which left 61,144 depositors with, clo with losses of nearly 3 million in 1874. The violent massacre, massacre decimating Tulsa's Greenwood District in 1921, a population of 10,000 that uh, thrive as the epicenter of American, African American business and culture, commonly referred to as Black Wall Street. Yeah, those people were on their way to build wealth, doing really well. And for some reason, I think I heard of that story before, they burned that city down, everything went down. So 
since then it was really hard for black to go back building wealth because they never wanted us to do better or to do to do well for ourselves and our family so let me continue and discriminatory policies throughout the 20th century including the jim crow eras black code strictly limiting opportunity in many southern states the gi bill the new deals fair labor standards arts exemption of domestic agricultural and service occupa occupations and red nine wealth was taken from these communities before it had the opportunity to grow. This history matters for, sent for contempor contemporary inequality in part because its legacy is passed down generation to generation through inequality, monetary inheritance, which make up a great deal of current wealth. In 2020, Americans are projected to inherit about $765 billion in gifts and bequests, excluding wealth transfer to spouse and transfer that support minor children. Inheritance account for roughly 4% of annual household, household income, much of which goes untaxed by the U.S. government. Just how large and persistent are these racial wealth gap? As figured, I show uh, as figure one shows, media network for white household has far exceeded that of black household through recession and booms over the last thirty years. While movements and white wealth are easier to see due to the largest scale. During the most recent economic downturn, median net worth declined by more for black families, 43, 44.3% declined from 2007 to 2013. Then for white families, 26.1% declined. In fact, the ratio of white family wealth to black family wealth is higher today than at its start at the start of the century. Median wealth of the wealth of the household at the middle of the distribution gives the experience of the typical family but does not reflect the bulk of national wealth that is held by the richest households. Right average wealth, 929,800, which is more influenced by very rich families, does not characterize by typical experience is 6.7 times greater than a black average wow wealth 138,100 white adults tend to be older median age of 55 than african american 49 years old and older people tend to have more wealth but figure two shows that the wealth gap remains when looking within age groups the typical young adult 18 to 34 years old years old of either race has little wealth but the gap rises quickly with age and for 65 to 74 years old accumulates to 302,500 in median right wealth and 46,890 in median black wealth of course you can always go back it's a lot there to read but I wanted to bring that information up. Think about it. One white family has $171,000 when the black family only have $17,150. Quick summary, she does it all. I'm going to try to examine it a little bit. Yes, the black Wall Street did not survive what we were trying to accumulate, what we were trying to provide for our family back then. They burned it down. I understand that. But we cannot live based on what happened to us in the past. Because when you go a little further and see how blacks spend their money, even black athletes, actors, TV hosts, you name it. All the professional black, how they spend their money, 
and how white spend their money. We cannot blame us not building wealth for our family all on white people. We cannot do that. We have to go back to ourselves and think and say, you know what? Maybe, just maybe, if I didn't spend all my money in Gucci bags and fancy shoes that cost a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars, maybe I could have invest that, multiply it, and make some money for my children instead of leaving them debt, you know? Because I had a video done where I read something in Mr. Robert Kiyosaki, which that for that book. And when you think about it, you have a thousand dollar right now. The white man might take that thousand dollar and put it in investment. Six months or a year later, that thousand dollar might turn to ten thousand based on what he invested on. That ten thousand, he's not gonna go buy fancy stuff with it. No. He invested in something that will give him more money. So that ten thousand become twenty thousand. That twenty thousand become fifty thousand. Eventually, one million dollar. But because we don't know about investment, they don't tell you about it, investment. The black population, we don't care for it to learn about it. When we have a thousand dollar, what we do? We go to the mall. We spend it by stupid stuff that don't even last. Or we go in the line buying fancy shoes. To I think the difference is. Black people wear their wealth on their skin, on their body. Okay, I'm wearing a fancy this and that, fancy shoes. I have money. But the white, they don't wear it on themselves. They invest it, making more money. While they're sleeping, their money work for them. So, of course, it's a big gap. Ten times. Ten times, man. The white group has their wealth gap is ten times than the black. 171,000 to 17,000. And it doesn't matter how old they are. It could be an old white guy still have more money than the black. Yes, there was a lot of opportunity. A lot of doors closed for us because of our skin tone. But at the same time, we have to look at ourselves. Look back and say, maybe I could have done better. Instead of wasting my money buying fancy stuff, buy a nice car that I can even pay for. Maybe I should start investing, learning the basics of investment. Educate yourself. Don't be afraid, you know. Before you know it, before you know it, from one dime to the next, you could do better and then live some wealth for your kids instead of debt. So this is to my, to my black viewers. I don't care if it's from the Caribbean. I don't care if it's American born. Stop wasting your money in brand name stuff, okay? I remember one time I was reading an, an article about expensive perfume. There was more blacks spending money in expensive perfume than whites. That billion dollar industry of perfume, black supported. For how many black designer have fragrances? You don't see that many, but we buy stuff like that. We make them millions because we like nice stuff. We like fancy stuff. I'm going to close the video and I'm going to give you an update on how things going, how I feel, because this research was done in 2016. Perfect example. Uh, Barry, what, what's that guy name from um, Piston? The white guy, the coach, he become a coach. I'm asking my son. I'm asking my son, guys. What's that guy? Larry Bird, right? Larry Bird was a player in Piston. Now, what team he played for? Celtics. Celtics. Larry Bird retired with millions. I'm just trying to give you an example. White players retired with millions in their account. They invest their money. They grow their money. Before you know it, they don't even have to play 5, 10, 15 years. But if they do play, that money they invested, they quit well for their family. Do you know how many black players go to bankruptcy? Do you know how many black players have some contracts? That, I'm gonna do an, a separate video on it. I'm gonna have my son come next to me and help me out on that one because he knows more about basketball, football, and all these things. This is ridiculous. You make so much money, but you live in such a lavish life. Two, three, five cars, 
The mansion has to be 10, 12 bedroom. Who the hell sleep in those bedroom? I heard Mayweather had a place in Las Vegas, in Vegas. It had so many bedroom. One of the bedroom had a crack on it because it was not occupied by nobody. He didn't even know that was going on. The house was so big. Why are we wasting money? Why we're not creating a wealth for our children? Of course, I'm not attacking me, whatever, because the guy is beyond wealthy. God bless him, and he knows how to invest. I'm just bringing that to let you know how we always go beyond our limits. Mike Tyson, man, this guy, when he was fighting at, 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 at his peak, that guy was making money, man. And when I heard he filed for bankruptcy, I'm like, what in the hell is going on? Who's, who's helping these people? I know we didn't come from money. So when we become athletes, when we become um, uh, actors and stuff, get some help. You know, I hope the young kids that are playing basketball and that just get drafted don't make the mistake our older generation did, man. You get the contract, you get signed. Have some people with knowledge help you invest your money. So you don't have to go through what the older generation did, man. They went through hell because once you sign with the team, you think you're good for life. But you have a certain years they give you. And that money, you don't get it right away, right, my son? You get it as you play, as you go. So if anything goes wrong, you break your leg or you get sick, something happened, you don't get that money you signed for. So whatever money you get ahead, Yes, you want to live the baller life. You want to have a nice car. More than a nice car. You want to have the pool. You want to have the nice 10, 20 bedroom. Help your family member. Think about the future. The future is not guaranteed. The present, you live in it. The future is not guaranteed, man. Have somebody with knowledge, experience, help you invest your money. So you don't have to be broke like that ever again in your life. So... I'm going to give you more update on athletes that went bankruptcy, actors that made it big, and for some reason, now they have zero dollar in the bank. Are you kidding me? All right. That's a great subject. I like it. Next time, to give you an update, I'm going to have a part two on it. I'm going to have my son next to me. He's going to... Remember, everything I talk about is public information. Whatever, whenever I mention something, I do my research. I don't just run my mouth. I let you know, I mention people's name because it's public information. It's there. They filed for bankruptcy. They, they used to have millions and now they have nothing. They're living on <laughs> almost nothing. That's why I bring you the information. So, again, the wealth gap in America between white and black, should we blame ourselves? Or should we blend the white because they don't open that many opportunity for us to explore to make money we have to think about it think about it and then we'll bring you an update like share subscribe i tell you this is crypto maria she does it all we talk about everything in this channel express your opinion express your concern and do you like my halloween wigs i love it May God bless you. When life gives you lemon, make lemonade out of it. Have a great one. Like, share, subscribe. Take care.